Welcome back everyone for more PS4 tips and tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix stick drift on a PlayStation 4 controller. If you don't know what stick drift is, it's basically where the analog stick is registering input movements without you even touching it. And as it turns out, unfortunately, most PS4 controllers will begin to develop this issue over time. In my experience, the best and most reliable way to fix stick drift is by either replacing the whole analog stick itself or simply replacing the analog stick sensor wheels. In fact, even just cleaning the sensors has been shown in some cases to help alleviate stick drift. And if the only alternative is buying a brand new controller anyway, it might be worth trying this first before you spend a bunch of money. So today I'm going to show you how to both clean or replace the PS4 controller's analog stick sensor wheels. To do this, you will need a small screwdriver set, some q-tips, and rubbing alcohol. I also recommend tweezers and a small pry tool, but it's not necessarily required. The first thing we are going to do is unscrew the bottom half of the controller and pry it apart. If it's your first time, be very careful and do this at your own risk. You can make the job a little easier by using a pry tool or or a plastic card to help with disassembling. I also recommend being extra careful with the L2 and R2 triggers because they can come apart while doing this and putting them back together can be a bit tricky. But next we are going to disconnect the white ribbon cable and set the bottom half of the controller off to the side. Then disconnect the battery while being extra careful not to pull on the wires. Next we will unscrew and remove the battery retainer and disconnect the ribbon cable from the touchpad. Now we can remove the motherboard assembly from the front half of the shell and then pull off the stick from the affected analog module. You'll notice that each analog stick has both an X and Y access sensor. For best results, I recommend cleaning or replacing both. Next, we're going to use a small flathead screwdriver to gently pry apart the analog module, then use a set of tweezers to carefully extract the sensors. And at this point, you can choose to either clean or replace them. You can purchase replacement thumbstick modules from Amazon and transplant them to your controller, or you can attempt to simply clean the existing sensors with a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol. But once finished, place either the new sensors or freshly cleaned ones back into the analog and close up the housing. Now we can begin to reassemble the controller. Put the stick back onto the analog and then place the motherboard assembly face down back into the controller. Then we need to reconnect the ribbon cable to the touchpad, place the battery retainer back in place, and screw it down. Then we're going to reconnect the battery, place it in the retainer, and then reconnect the bottom half of the controller using the ribbon cable. Finally, we can sandwich the controller and screw it back together using a small Phillips head screwdriver. And that's it. Now you know how to fix stick drift on a PS4 controller. So before you go out and spend $70 on a replacement controller, you can try this first and see if it helps. If you guys enjoyed this video, and found it useful or at least interesting, make sure to leave a like rating, comment below to let me know what you think, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys next video.